Patients with ankle arthritis complain of pain, stiffness and swelling in their ankle. The pain gradually increases and it becomes something that interferes with their activities of daily living. So the standard non-surgical treatments, first of all, are simple measures such as anti-inflammatory medication, Panadol Osteo, supportive footwear, activity modification, and particularly doing exercise that doesn't involve repetitive weight-bearing activity. So spending some time on an exercise bike or in the swimming pool can be a very good way of both losing weight and helping to decrease ankle pain. When that fails, that's when the surgical options are considered. The old surgical option for ankle arthritis was an ankle fusion. So in an ankle fusion, the two bones of the ankle are joined together with screws and plates. It results in a very stable construct and most patients with a successful ankle fusion are able to walk relatively comfortably and without a great deal of discomfort. However, of course, there's no motion left in the ankle. Over the last five or 10 years, there've been significant improvements in ankle replacements and there are now ankle replacements available that are extremely good from a point of view of relieving pain and because the range of motion is maintained with an ankle replacement, the function is also excellent. So prior to surgery, patients require a weight-bearing x-ray, and that will show the condition of the joint and how much articular or joint cartilage is left. Some patients may have had other scans, such as CT scans and MRI scans as well. So the recovery for a lot of foot and ankle surgeries takes a long time. For an ankle replacement, the recovery involves two weeks in a half plaster or back slab, mobilising touch weight bearing on crutches. This may necessitate the use of a walking scooter or a walking frame, or indeed crutches, depending on the patient's mobility. After two weeks, the patient is then able to mobilise comfortably in a walking boot. The walking boot has the advantage that it protects the ankle, but allows the patient to mobilise much more easily. The boot only needs to be worn while walking and can be taken off for sleeping and for gentle range of motion exercises. The recovery is prolonged and it takes most patients somewhere between six and 12 months to be fully recovered. Having said that, even within the first six or eight weeks, most patients have considerably less pain than prior to surgery and are mobilising relatively easily. So thanks very much and we look forward to seeing you at North Shore Private in the near future.